everyone. It's a beautiful Monday on your view. Welcome to the show. I am Morayo Afolabi Brand. As always, I never do this alone. I have the ladies with me. Hi. Good morning. Hey. How was your weekend? Voting right. weekend. You guys did not vote this week. Me, I know I did not vote. Let me just let me just admit this. I did not vote this weekend. But I proudly voted. You voted, right? And my candidate won. Okay. Yeah. My husband voted too. Um, however, yesterday was my senior senior Mrs. Odige's birthday, so. Um, what does that mean, senior Mrs. Odige? Yeah, okay, senior so wife. Senior yeah, wife now. All oh, right. Yeah, that's so. My colleague in the wife, oh, sister in the wifely my, business. Uh -huh, <laughs> my colleague in the wifely business. My senior Odige. Happy she's setting. Yes, yeah, she's setting. A, um, she had set and she's continued to set a nice um, standard. standard for my family, and we you know we are looking up to her. Anyway. <laughs> she is into furniture. She did her birthday yesterday. It was fantastic. We went to a Chinese restaurant, had a really, really nice, lavish meal. I broke every dieting protocol that I've been observing, <laughs> and I had fun. I just want to continue to celebrate her, and as many, many times as I look up to her, like, if she's able to achieve this, I knew when she started her business and she's grown, I can also go in that step and grow in my business. So, Chidani, I love you. Keep doing what you're doing. God bless you. Wow, mm. community of wives. <laughs> <laughs> Good wives. Mm. You are a senior wife. I'm senior wife. Yes, so you're a senior wife that you have. Um, what am I supposed to do exactly? Just be you. Just be <laughs> you. But they're supposed to follow you with respect. So you, you'll be the collation center, <laughs> collation <laughs> officer, every, every, if they follow. Right. Or like my case. Used to be. My they're case, no I don't here. think they want to but follow. she used to be. Mariah's house used to be like the converging place mm. for everybody. Because it's, it's close to the express. <laughs> and you can go to the carriage immediately. No, because you are welcoming. <laughs> Mariah, you're my house so was convenient. You it. You are Very welcoming. convenient. That was what I was looking for. Mm. Okay, anyway. How are you doing, Jare? I'm fine. Yalaja. So you voted? Of course I did. So who won the bet? That's what I But Muriel had already conspired to make sure I didn't get to the <laughs> Who polling. won the bet? By overworking me the week before, <laughs> I couldn't wake up. So Nima lost the bet, obviously. Oh. <laughs> I didn't get there. No, I never got to some polling units before it, but Muriel will not give me this money because at my polling unit, they get there for 10. <laughs> <laughs> Those people so now to account. <laughs> oh, yeah, money. You know Betty is not Islamic, so I didn't. Ah, oh my God. <laughs> you know, I wanted to shout out to Freddy. He's in the studio today again watching Freddy us live. Building. Freddy is no, responsible no. for a nice uh, person, to order new mugs. whatever mugs and, and, it's and he has money. gifts for us. Oh. No, he's very affordable. Actually, it is affordable. He's actually, very, he's very affordable. affordable. So we'll tag you online if you want to know who does our mugs for us. And he's very yeah. online on, you find him so, on Instagram. <laughs> Freddy for How old is Sonia Ade? I went for an event it's on Friday. He is so youthful. I went for a celebration of life. Um, late Professor Elibuti passed, so I was there. And he was, you know, he does. He was work. so vibrant. Yeah. I'm like, how old is this man? I've been hearing about this man since I was born. How come he's so <laughs> alive and well <laughs> and energetic? Just, just, just. I've been to another event where I saw Ebenezer Obi. He was sort of carried yes. and placed, yes. but this man was just everywhere. It was so that's how I spent my Friday. So on Saturday I woke up really late because hmm, well, I enjoy. Okay, because on keto you can drink champagne, so I had a few glasses of champagne. Seriously? Yes. You can only take one, but I had like a few. <laughs> it was really nice. <laughs> so I woke up late on Saturday. But I went out on that Saturday and I noticed that the whole place was quiet. Although people were still moving around. Unlike the presidential, I think all of us stayed back because we were just wondering what may happen after the elections. But it just seemed everything was peaceful experience. and everything. Mm. Yeah. Actually, I, I mean, I would have gone, but I would have, I would have voted. Well, unfortunately, we, we had car issues. I left my car in the office. I couldn't go. So there was a lot of drama that happened. But um, my husband voted in Magodo. Mm -hmm. Those were Magodo people. Enjoyment. They didn't vote too. They went to go and just go and parry. There was Ofada rice. Hmm. There was uh, Asaro. You vote and get there a bottle of water. There was canopy. There was drinks. There was water. There was music. I was like, ah, I think that's the new share. face of the uh, They yeah. went to camp parry. They, they were really, the all of them gathered. My husband went to his polling booth, I think voted, I I mean, and I, I went, went to that place because it was within the same. I mean, that's the way it should be. I'm telling you. There was a story everywhere. It wasn't. I'm telling you, this was the parable. They voted. They took their time and voted. In fact, 10 minutes it was done. Now, lounge for like another two hours, just it. Everybody kept saying. This guy is not home. Now, what's going on? I said, well, Morel, I won't share. Let me buy you. <laughs> <laughs> your husband came in, but I yeah, yeah, said that your husband didn't really eat. Yeah, he just yeah. came in and just came. Oh, so that's how, that's how we roll in this neighborhood. You know? <laughs> Let's go on a break. It's Monday. The only story out there is election. the election. So we'd like to hear your thoughts. We're going to open our phone lines pretty early. Share with us what happened. Did you vote? What happened in your area? And uh, did your candidate win? We're going to break. When we come back, you we'll take the paper. Stay with us. Don't go, don't go anywhere. <laughs> Oh, 
Okay, so let's see what papers, what stories, uh, the only stories here is just this election. But let us start with uh, punch as usual. Uh, Governor Chipol APC wins Lagos, Ogun, Kwara. PDB takes Oyo, Akwaibom, and Eboyin. There are a few more states we're still waiting for. Rivers was, was suspended. Kaduna oh, is still on I the can't way. can't wait for him. A whole bunch of I others. I hope he goes the same way as well. inconclusive. U.S. slashes Nigerian crude imports by 43%. Nigerian professor envoy 155 others killed in the Ethiopian airline plane crash. Yes, Play two lawmaker elect dies one, after, one hour after winning his election. Hmm. NJC begins hearing on petitions against Anoge, the acting CGN, and APM rejects governorship election results in Ogun. Right, so <clears throat> which story? So let me take the... Um, Play to lawmaker? No, no, no. Which one? The um, sad story that occurred yesterday, the, the plane, um, crash, plane crash, and in it were two Nigerians, although the other one, Professor Adesami, who is quite popular mm -hmm. on Twitter, on social media, is a Canadian-Nigerian. Mm -hmm. And... Um, I've never met this man. I've only just followed him on social media, but this thing really broke my heart right. because this is a, he's an advocate for education. On his tw his tweets are very, um, you know, yeah, deep, educated. He's a you know, well. yes, he's a, he's a fine you know, man, a fine expert. was a fine man and a fine writer. So it's really sad. And people are talking about this particular plane, um, plane the 737 Max, Boeing 737 Max. They said this is the second accident in six months. Right. Another one happened in Indonesia, and then they're talking that they will have to look into these planes. We have two plane, airlines yeah. in Nigeria who uses, uh, who uses planes. Mm, I, I don't think cool. if it's okay. I can and mention China has them, grounded yes. every um, so, Boeing 737 mm, uh, Max that they have because of these two accidents that took place. They're trying to find investigations are still ongoing to find if there's a correlation between the fault in the first crash that took place in um, um, six months ago and this one. We're just hoping to have a firm, especially within our country. If China has stopped it, then we should also speak up hmm. and stop whatever it is. We don't want to have another story of But really, our hearts go out happened. to the families yes. of this professor. Mm -hmm. it was really sad. There was another person, there was another ambassador, former yes. ambassador Bashua. Yes. Bashua. He also too passed well, on. He, on that, that one had the Nigerian passport, so it was easy he for went, us to mm. spot, but the Canadians had to speak up for... Yes, because he's Canadian, even though he's Canadian. He's Canadian okay, let's move on to the nation. Polls, Samuelu Abiodun Makinde Abdurazak win. Hmm. Governors elect, uh, and uh, let's see what else we have here. Nigerian professor envoy 155 others die in Ethiopian air clash. We talked about that already. Those are the major stories. Police vow to fish out Rep. Olatoye's killers. Hmm. To uh, troops kill 41 suspected Boko Haram terrorists. Mm -hmm. Foreign investors lift trading by 13.3%. Uh, Moses has to call me, says Roar. Right, so. Uh, so let me Which talk story? about the um, death of the law House of Reps member in, in Oyo State, who was sugar. shot in the head. Eye. He was shot in the eye. That was the eye the the head. Head. my sister. <laughs> in a court like way, he, he, and he, he didn't make it alive to the hospital, he died. This were some of the things that made these elections this Saturday. A lot of killings happened in River State particularly. I'll take that later when we get to River State in the papers, but that was how the Honorable was killed and the police are investigating the cause of his Just of won his the election. He, he won, he won re-election um, yes. yes, last, yeah, last yes. two weeks ago mm -hmm. and yesterday he was shot dead. Um, I, I, I don't know why this is happening and I, 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 I wish we would get to the point where we begin to see governance and politics as a service to the people and not a do or die this affair. is one of, actually, we've been saying this for a long time. It's almost, it's almost, well, almost sound like it's a broken record. Thank you. So it's like, um, young people, we, some, we need to find a way to get into their heads, to make them understand that because they are the ones being used. Yes, I've not seen, they've been 80 year old, 40 year old, 50 year old, 60 year old carrying guns used. and... Let's move on to everywhere. Vanguard, Samuel Lumakinde, others win as INEC halts polls in rivers. We're talking politics all day today, so we'll talk about their wins and all that later. Uh, let's see. Mar Merchant Bank under pressure to reverse declining deposit growth. Bandits kill 17 in Zamfara. Kaduna, um, several also injured. Uh, polls, politicians kitten thugs with uniform arms to impersonate soldiers, says Army. Mm -hmm. Oya polls will bring perpetrators of violence to books at Jumobi and the police. And presidential polls, ECOWAS Parliament urges parties to respect results. Any story so there that anybody has? Banks are, are speaking out. The, our saving culture is nose diving. Our Nigerians are not mm. saving money hmm. like before. And this is affecting the capitalization of banks. So they're trying to engage people into saving more. There are more incentives towards savings. Um, but some, some Nigerians are saying that Nigerians don't have the money to save. So the, the, the first point of action will be 
Let us have more cash flow. Let there be more economic may I, may I function. May say that you put your money in the in the current account and the banks just swapping Thank you. all That's sorts of charges, mm -hmm. discouraging people to From, even want to save. Mm -hmm. So they should look into their savings, savings whatever accounts, those products or whatever they do. That you know they used to end their annual whatever. They should check yes, on. You check put your out. money in savings account. You and can't work at so the hard end of for the year, money. there's nothing. And they find one excuse or the other. Something as simple as sending me an email. You charge me for that. Mm -hmm. right. You charge me for SMSs. At the end of the month, you're charging me two hundred and something so thousand yeah, naira. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so, I don't want us to move. I want. I like us to go back to the story of the, the Ethiopian Airlines because mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the response of the Ethiopian Airlines. I thought it was pretty impressive compared mm -hmm. to because we've had. It was pretty swift mm -hmm. because usually when 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 this has happened to us in the past. We, we wait for names, we wait for identity of who and who are the victims. But somehow right. we were able Ethiopian to get. Ethiopian airline is not in Ni normal. It's not. In, it's not. You don't, don't, don't compare them with Ethiopian us. Ethiopian airline well, as in Ni Nigerian or African airline. They are the number one in Africa. In Africa. Yes, right. So it is expected that they should prioritize and behave. Yeah. Besides standard. that, um, according to the owner of the the was the CEO of the Boeing whatever in in the country, mm. he said the. Pilots had called for permission to return. Mm. Just after takeoff, he had reported technical issues and wanted to return to Addis Ababa mm. to land that plane. And it was permitted, but he couldn't land it. He crash landed. He buried oh. into the soil. So they were. They should have been ready for mm. this. You know, unlike the kind of cases we have here. So I'd, I'd rather not. It was, just, it was seven minutes. I mean, that yeah. was a very short time. Seven so minutes you, after can say, you really look at it. It's not like something yeah. that he had time to prepare mm. for. But um, but this, I, I just I just I just noticed yes. that we got names, we got identification. We've yes. had even no, a building crash in mm. Lagos. We don't know. It takes it takes them forever to let us know who and who are the. Uh, the another victims. thing our leaders should look out for is if Ethiopia can do it within Africa, then Nigeria can do it too. Mm. We don't it's need really to look too far. Impressive, I must say. Yes, but, um, it is. Just sad that sad circumstances. circumstances. All right, let's move on to new telegraph. PDP snatches Oyo, APC grabs Quara, Gumbi, Chai. Lagos, and Ogum. Chai. Hey, that Oyo is Chai. Chai. Constituted <laughs> authority. All right. Play to lawmaker dies 24 hours after winning re election. Angry youths uh, set INEC office on fire in Imo State. Election observers escape death in Enugu. 16 killed, one missing in fresh Kaduna attacks. Lecturer others shot as soldiers attack collision center. Lots of violence. Mm -hmm. Olive oil and food or lowers risk of heart disease. Uh, Tenima, did you take your story to me? <laughs> Nigerian <laughs> professor ambassador died in the Tenima. So let's talk about the play to lawmaker who passed yes. on. Hmm. So this man, Afon, or what? Um, Ezekiel. Honorable Ezekiel Afon, hmm. after winning his re election into the house, slumped barely 24 hours and and died. So these are underlining, of course, underlying health issues that I suspect maybe he's he was fifty-five. Yes, they, had, yes, they said he had, 55, had uh, fifty-five. Yeah, he had he had been suffering some form of mm. illness. So, but he was well on the day that he won the elections, and he mm. celebrated mm. with his family. You see, I wanted to talk about heart related well. issues. Quick one: heart related mm. issues tend to give you sort of like warning signals, mm. and the death that happened after you, you, you people will look seemingly well, but the issues inside are internal and they are present. Now, I, I've said on this counter. I don't believe in politicians who come out sick after they are being charged to court. But this is a politician who been died right after. after a successful one. So politicians, like every other Nigerian, go through stress of our environment. Let okay. us get ourselves checked. Regularly. You're going to something before. Yes, the election observers that were <laughs> beating blue, black and blue, <laughs> blue and black, um, they work with the global okay. policy advocates and leadership. And they are um, accredited by INEC to observe elections. And so they said on, this, uh, on the day of the elections, they had heard that the Sen Senator Ayogu Eze, the APC gubernatorial candidate, had decided to boycott the election. So they went over to find out more information from him. The people gathered, thought they were thugs, or 700 of them gathered around them and beat them. They said it was the police officers that saved them. One, there was a gunshot, mm. someone was killed, but well, they were just saying thankfully that they were saved. There was confusion, they didn't know who they were. And they well, were every had to be taken observer away from that. has a in tag. Enugu State. Sorry, it, this happened in Enugu, Enugu State. Enugu. Okay, Enugu. Enugu State. Okay. Yes. Every observer should have a tag, and most of they them wear it. So why would you beat up someone who had observer. a tag that is an observer? In these days, of, in these days of impersonation, and even yes, the army is screaming out. Stories. Um, we have to round up on that. Uh, but as I said, we're talking the elections all through this show today. There are lots of surprises. Or your state is one of them. Uh, <laughs> Mac and the young guy, fine guy too. But you know, look guy, like a correct yeah. guy. Just like he has brain. not a constituted authority. Yeah, but, but if you see what happened to constituted authority, so he must not try himself. But let's go on a break. When we come back, 
We'd like to hear your own experience during the gubernatorial uh, elections. Did you vote? Uh, who did you vote for? And what are one of the surprises you noticed? Stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Welcome back to Your View. Smile, Nima. <laughs> Thanks for staying with us. So, so over the weekend, millions of Nigerians tripped out to vote for the governorship and state assembly elections. We'd like to hear your thoughts and experiences during that exercise. How peaceful was it in your area? Call us on 070-8066-8014. You can also tweet to us at TVC Connect. Please hashtag Your View TVC so we can read your tweets. Honestly, this election was very, very mad with lots of violence across the states. And I think it was one of the most scariest elections for me because, I mean, even hearing the reports that came out from Rivers, mm -hmm. reports that they have, uh, other, other places, I think Kaduna, people died. So I know I'm gonna have, we're going to bring in a guest to help us enlighten us on those areas. But your thoughts, what you read in the papers, what are those things that, that you felt were, the, were, that were, were prominent during these elections? Let me let us um, talk with um, go first. <clears throat> So, yes, uh, on Saturday morning, I called my husband's eldest brother lives in Port Harcourt, And I called him and he said, nobody is going out to vote now. You want to die? Mm. That, that was his statement because it, it, it was a given thing that there's going to be violence yes. and people were not going to step out. The only people that went out to vote were people that had political interest in ensuring their candidates get into power. That the mm. average um, Port Harcourt citizen or River citizen isn't going to risk their life. It's always been consistently violent. And even though we knew that, it, it still went that line. Mm. However, just in Lagos here in, Port Harcourt, in Magodo phase one, there were reports that I confirmed from someone who went to the polling unit said that they arrived there on time. The ad hoc staffs got here around like 8.39, but didn't start any process until 11.30, saying that we need to confirm our payments, that our oh. last election, we didn't get our money. Yeah. So, yeah, we we, we, we are, so yes, yeah. that when we see our alert on our phone, if for real? we would start. And oh, when they Lord. got it, and this, this are ad hoc staff, some of them um, Talking about members. ad hoc staff, mm. we read in the papers that many of them weren't paid. Mm -hmm. and many of them actually were left abandoned, mm -hmm. sleeping on the floor on the mats. Let me take this call. Helen, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Good yes, morning. tell me what happened in your area. Right, it was peaceful, though. But peaceful? I think the people's choices are not being respected. Where's her area? People's choice, okay. Where's yeah, she? they're not being respected. You see a lot of things going on. These politicians, they are just desperate to get in there. That's what I think. Mm. But yeah. my area was peaceful. What area is that? Aja. Aja. Okay, thank you very much, Helen, may, for calling. May I quickly yes, say <laughs> um, congratulations to the governor elect in Lagos, top, um, Governor Songolu. For the work he yet? did, governor, governor elect, elect. I said Mr. So. Mr. Songolu, <laughs> because the tension that was in Lagos on the 23rd, post and post elections, the yeah. presidential election, I expected that there would be mass violence based on the threats and videos flying online. But he did a lot of work because while one party was campaigning on along ethnic lines, he was doing the work, ten, uh, you know, calming the Thank nerves. You along ethnic lines, and you will see it play out on, on Saturday. In my locality, for instance, <laughs> you would not have dared to go and vote if the threats that were flying around had been carried out. But I went out, it was peaceful. Yes, there were not many voters, but we were able to vote, and things worked, you know, as well. Uh, many observed as, that, even in the last one week, you know. But, all but, in, Lagos, in Lagos especially, all mm. ammunition was on deck. I mean, they had to bring in mm. uh, Mr. Fashola, Honorable Fashola. They brought to in, come uh, down. what was his name from, um, uh, Kalu. From uh, yeah, Abia to Kalu, Kalu, Kalu to come, this so. and tensions, you know, along this ethnic line was a lot of work was done. Yeah. We saw the result, and you know, unlike what happened in River State, right. in River State, a lecturer from the Polytechnic, Kensarua Polytechnic, was shot. Mm. People were just, you know, being shot left, right, and center, as they did in Oyo State <laughs> as well, and um, Ondo also. So we, let's talk about yeah. I next staff who would risk their life, mm. lives like this for this kind of service right. because there was a video on Instagram Danny Poy was video, ma making a video from a polling unit in his, on Instagram where a, a voter walked into the polling unit poured remnants of his alcohol on the INEX staff the NY, NYSC staff and on the ballot papers and walks out and nothing yeah. happened Why do we do this so you, you can't be owing those kind of people money right. you know, you shouldn't. let me take this call from Chudi Chudi are you there from Vega? yes yeah, good morning thanks Mara. for calling go ahead please yes uh, yeah please I I will want to thank all of you there. And uh, 
the election that took place in Nigeria is an in Nigeria. Why? There is no election in Nigeria. Mm. What, happened, what happened in Nigeria is a displacement of arrogancy, mm. power tussle, mm. and all sorts of, all sort of manner of things happened. To crown it all, I want to point our leaders. These things will be dumped at the door of the president. Mm. Yes. Well, our leaders should know what to say at any point in, in time, time. What yes. you alter, what you bring out in public. Hmm. Uh, yes, I understand very well that some people are educated, but they are not learned. That yeah. is a very big difference <laughs> of being uh, being educated and being learned. Hmm. Hmm. Those that uh, know, know, knows what I'm saying. Hmm. A leader should not say what was. Uh, 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 disorganize the country. Aggra aggravate. I saw what is said right. in the uh, social media, right. uh, where somebody said, "You both are this and that. They are not trust." When you had it, you saw it. What does this are wrong? Thank you very much for your call. Mm -hmm. Now, when when you should say something very important that there was no elections in Nigeria, but when somebody says that, and you see results from places like Oyo, Kwara. And you it's feel like the people the, spoke. The will of the so, why, people. so is it that the people actually are speaking, but there are some interests that are disrupting and making it look as if, oh, everything is violent, uh, the, um, this, this election is, is not credible? Because we've seen some surprises. Yeah. So it means that the people are actually speaking. So I why, why, are why is it being... Why? Yeah, so I just, you don't think the inquiry... I don't, you don't think, I don't think people are speaking when you have less than 50% of the people that are capable of voting, right. voting. Okay. In Lagos, we have 3 million, over 3 million um, registered voters. Registered voters right. And in, uh, that, well, in 20, as of 2015, we had more voters now, um, registered right. voters, and less than 1 million people cast their... Uh, right. You really so, can't... Okay. So, in a 20 million, a 20 million people <laughs> state... But no, talking, those about, those right. yes, talking about... Um, Neg negatives and positives. Right. In this case now, you know the narrative uh, for the North is usually, oh, the elections are already done and dusted behind mm. um, closed doors, mm. and then you just come and tell Northerners what, to, who to vote yeah. for. But from what I've seen, although the elections in Kano, Bauchi, they're inconclusive as of right now, but these are people that normally you, they would just go with one party mm. or with one person, mm. but at least we have two parties head to head, neck to neck. You know, we have the Ganduje story, you know, the mm -hmm. story, the yeah. scandal that followed it. Mm -hmm. And everybody's actually looking to Kano State to see how they would vote. Right. And to see the tussle right now is just not a clear win for right. him. Mm -hmm. You know, it shows that people are actually making um, use of their votes and they understand that their votes count. That's, 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 so that's that's the the that, that was my comment because so as let much as we want to say it was mild violence, but it seems like we still get some quickly add to that because there were criticism that if uh, President Buhari could have won the numbers he got from Kano, how come can Ganduje, who should have served him those numbers, did not, you know, have those numbers himself? The truth is, what the, 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 the followership that Buhari commands in the North President is Buhari. President Buhari commands in the North is totally different from what yes. Governor Ganduje would command. We saw that in Lagos, yes, too. We saw, and we saw it across board. And when you see what happened in um, or your state, you cannot say that you know the president will go out to all states and influence what 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 actually happened in right. the governorship elections. You cannot just say that loosely. You must con you must co consider things together. What happened in Oyo State was the will of the people. Yeah. Those people who were willing to take the risk and decide how their fate would run. We saw what happened in, uh, in Ogun State as well. I was even surprised because I, I had believed that the way the governor carried himself. Which one? And Ogun State. In Ogun, Ogun State. State. Yeah. Ogun State was really the governor close, carried about 20, himself. 20,000. Yes. Oh. It's still so, I think they're still going to contest this number. But the people but... came out. And people came out because yeah, two, two, and two, we have two, it. Two forty-one thousand to two twenty-two thousand. We have That's an elect. Close. We have a governorship. The, co the elections there has been concluded. Yes, mm. it has been concluded. So I'm just saying. You're going to tribunal that. to so contest. That. That's exactly what APM is doing. But it just you have one point five registered voters. The entire people that vote are less than five hundred. People who are so, willing. So, so for me, I I understand that. But you're so right. It's totally different. It's a different, different issue. Right. Those that came out made their voice heard. Yes, right. In Lagos, we had really the same numbers two weeks ago and now, mm. yet there was a difference in how they voted. It was pretty close last. APC won by 500 to 4 right. something. Mm. Now they won by 700. So people can actually go and vote for APC for presidency and come back and say they are voting for PDP for states. Right. We shouldn't just assume that because they voted one way yeah. two weeks ago, they'll okay. vote that same so way the, now. The so the patterns are changing, obviously. Yes, it from is from this election, mm. we see that the patterns are changing. The Let's go on a break. When we come back, we'll try to bring in Mr. Soji. Hopefully, once I'll stay with us, we'll be right back. <laughs> Stay tuned. Your view will be right back.
Welcome back to Your View. <laughs> Join us as the Group Controller, That's Current nice. and Public Affairs, TVC News, Mr. Babajide Kolade Otisoji. Welcome to the show. Thank you Yay. for having me. It's always oh, good to have you. Have you. Yes, it's always Before good you... to sit in the midst of women. women right? It's good. <laughs> Before we invite our callers, we, we need to ask you about the, the numbers and the trends we've seen this election, especially yes, the governorship. Oh, yeah, was an interesting surprise <laughs> for many people. Right. Uh, the way PDP actually, you said earlier, got five new states, you know. Is it that APC was going, has gone to sleep, thinking that it was be automatic because they want to win the presidency? Or what exactly happened that caused this new trend? The new people, we have the new numbers in Quara also. Mm. Um, and even we're still looking to, in most of here, that's also PDP. Uh, we're it's waiting going to for, it's going to be PDP. Mm. We're waiting for Rivers, we're waiting for uh, Kaduna, Kaduna and other states. Uh, yeah. So in your thoughts, these mm. surprises, how, how did it come about? Some of them, I can't really uh, say I'm surprised. Okay. Because if you've been um, watching journalists and girl for some time, what happened in Adamawa, I predicted it. Yeah. What happened in Bauchi, I predicted it. So there are, when there is crisis within your party, you pay for it. Mm. Especially if you're unable to resolve those crises amicably. I said something late last week, I said, Ashwaju has done his best in your state to reconcile the agri parties. It appeared his efforts came very late. And it's one thing to sit people down, get the assurances that they will fight no more. It's another thing um, to, to get them to do exactly what they promised you. Mm. So in the case of um, Oyo, for example, Clearly, the aggrieved parties were clearly irreconcilable. But mm. well, people were saying that was actually they were voting against Ajimo. It wasn't so much of the party issue, it was, that, it was, was the government they were voting against. Yeah. Yes, because the crisis in Oyo arose from the World Congresses of the party, mm. where the governor insisted that it had to be his own candidate. Mm. You know, that's one. <laughs> and then, of course, in the Badon. His quarrel with the Alafi, mm. I mean with the Ulubado, Uluba his attempt to reform the traditional institution yeah, yeah. and all that yeah. got that so many people many angry. Mm. So that you see, as, as the, I predicted, Makinde swept the votes right. in Ulubado. Right. Okay. I would like to think that maybe the electorate is becoming more aware of their powers and how important that their votes are, not necessarily party. To now put it on party now, almost waters down this feeling of importance <laughs> I have. <laughs> yes, no, they, not just the people. No, not, you <laughs> see, the parties are the important vehicles by which elections are won. Mm -hmm. Without those parties, you can't uh, contest an election. We've not reached the, that point of, of the, the I mean, independent candidacy right. and all that. Right, yeah. So mm -hmm. I can tell you, look at what happened in Adamawa, Right. I had been talking about it for at least one and a half years. Mm. I had been warning the APC leaders that it will happen. What happened in Bauchi, I said, look, you can't, as a governor, fight hmm. the leaders of your party. Do you know how many APC, even senators and other people who left the party because, of, because the of the governor? governor. Mm. Yes. And, and he had, look at Bauchi Municipal. There is Bauchi local government. Mm -hmm. PDP got 130,000 votes. Mm. That should tell you something. Right. So if you turn against the, your people, people that over the years you had needed their support, right. if you suddenly felt, oh, I'm a governor, yeah. oh, I'm so strong now, I'm right. constituted right. authority, I'm, uh, nobody uh, can, you then they can actually teach you an exemplary yeah. lesson. Mm. All right. Mm -hmm. So um, we, we saw how. And I, Oyo has always been a smart state politically. They, they had a reputation of never voting the same governor twice mm. at a point in time until Ajimobi. However, we saw in Lagos State, when the numbers came out after the presidential election of 500 and something, 400 and something, everybody felt this is too, too close. close for comfort. And we saw the response of the um, um, campaign. Mm. They were everywhere. It was over-marketed consistently to the point where mm. I knew, oh, 
this was going to be it. Do you believe that the individual candidates can muscle, muzzle up themselves, take their message? There were town hall meetings in Lagos in almost every community. Can, is it possible for the candidates to say party or no party issues, I will take my message to the people and get them out? And can, they, can I make a difference in the election result? No. <laughs> okay. So you, you feel party yeah, is supreme? No, you can't see. You cannot win elections without solid structures. Mm. Exactly. This is the way it is in our country. We've now reached that point. Mm. If you are strong, there's a candidate called GNI in Ogun. Mm. He, has, he has tremendous support. People have sympathy for him. Mm. They like him. Mm. He's, he's, he's an excellent Party's individual. Structure. He has never had the right party to work with. Mm. Mm. The moment he gets the right party, he will win. Amosu was contesting governorship elections. Mm. He and wasn't winning mm. yes. until he came into, until Ashwaju brought him in. Mm. And he won. The same thing with Ajimobi. Mm. Ajimobi had contested on the platform of AMPP, mm. was unable to win. Right. Mm. But Ashwaju recognized that he had significant um, grassroots base. And he, he felt, OK, let me bring this right. guy in. Right. If I bring him in and with our own structures and our support base, yeah. you will be able to win. Okay. And that's what happened. Yeah. You yeah. cannot win without the party because you need those foot soldiers. It yeah. is the party. So all those white people. We didn't know who someone knew those white people. This time last year, we didn't know who someone knew was really. Yeah. So yeah. the party structure like that. Like expect helping. these governors to know better than, you know, to divide the house, that the structure that works for them. In, in trying, like in uh, what you have in um, Imo State and, and, and Ogun State, the same Amosun that you just cited now, dividing the structure that worked for him mm -hmm. against yeah. um, the party's choice. Yeah, but Officials. it's been taught a lesson now. Oh, yeah. It's been taught a lesson. So maybe others will learn from oh, this yeah. that you can't turn your back against your own people. PDP would have done well in Ogun, but they kept going from one court to another. And when Buruji, at the apogee of his selfishness, <laughs> decided that, okay, because the, the court said I'm the authentic, I, 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 it's my, my group that is the authentic. Uh, yeah. uh, they reconcile people. He now felt that he should become governor. <laughs> ah. But at the end of the day, you saw what happened. Yes. The Adebutus of this mm -hmm. world, because Adebutu had been mm -hmm. contesting against him in mm -hmm. court, yes. they decided to go and Joint support uh, uh, someone else. All right, let's go on a break. When we come back, we'll continue our conversation with Mr. Otstoji. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Welcome back to Your View. Thanks for staying with us. We tried to get the rec um, to talk to us, but unfortunately, we, we got disconnected mistakenly. Um, so, Mr. Zuju, let me let yeah, okay. Nima jump in here. My worry is the one house, um, house of assemblies that we've had, we have now in Lagos and Edo State, particularly Edo State, where we would expect uh, authority. We've always had it now. One house again, hmm. where we've hmm. always expected, you know, that we have this balance. I was looking towards a balanced house, and right. it just happened that. Everyone is Everybody is on one party. side again. And then, you know, the criticism under Oshomole was that this house was sitting in the government house. They had no powers, nothing, you know, of checks or, or whatsoever. How do we, is it break possible this? to even break this in, in the future? You see, the issue really is not um, um, whether or not it's right for all the assembly members to come from the same party. It's about the lawmakers realizing their responsibilities, their obligations to the people mm. of their state. Because exactly. you are not supposed to be an appendage mm -hmm. of the governor. Mm -hmm. You are not supposed to be talked into the pocket mm. of the governor. Thank you. Well, that is what we see. Mm. Even in states where a governor did not have um, majority of the members from his party. Mm. We've seen these governors shell out money to compromise mm. the House members to the point that everyone will now begin to do what the governor wants. Mm. And they will start decamping 
one by one. Exactly. What happened in the Lagos House? Yes. One by one, those people, they had eight members. Mm -hmm. And all of them. They were at the camping. I think it was only one person. That was left. Mm. You know, they were at the camping one after another. Mm -hmm. so, I want to ask a question. So, before the elections, we had INEC talking about campaign funds being investigated. Ah, I can only speak for the Lagos that I am in. Mm. When I see the Pr the printing materials around mm. and the level of adverts being done yes. by the candidates of APC in Lagos and even to an extent the PDP, the money and the funds used to fund this campaign is a whole lot. Mm. Should, how do we now get them to release their funds, to release how they got the money, what was the budget spent, does the Freedom of Inter um, Information Bill cover this, can we have an audit of how the campaign funds that were spent, even on the presidential can, um, campaign, can we have an audit? Can, can we know what was spent and where they got the money from? Because it will help us know if we're going to get good governance or not. From these politicians? Um. You, want them, <laughs> you want them to be transparent? Yes. <laughs> that's, that's not going to happen. They are not, they are not going to, to make their books available to you. They are not. We have because to run. Let me, I, know, I know you have to, you, and I think that, that answer is pretty straightforward. I need to ask you this and question. And most of the states have not even domesticated the freedom. Of exactly. Mm. Yeah. So, I want yes. to ask you a question. I would like you to be very, very um, truthful. <laughs> you, you said earlier that um, the kind of politics we practice here, mm. yes. obviously ours is very, very different from the rest of the world. Mm. Now, um, the leader of the APC in Lagos said, said that we should be saying, we should say in Lagos, Otokwe. Oto, oto mm. Because the truth is that if, in, in the mentality is that, let's say, we need a leader. And the parties need leadership. And the people who follow him, and say, regardless of what you say, mm. he's the ruler of our time. Talking about politics in Nigeria, is it possible, is it possible we can have a, an electorate that is not dependent on one person as a leader of, the, of, of, the, of a party or general leader? Is it possible? Mm. Or should we accept that this is our own type of politics? We need this leaders, these men, these are Influence. these influences, these um, watchdogs for help to help us direct and to help Navi navigate. Is this, this our political fate? Is this our fate? We, this is who we are? Or should we just say it's going to be you can have something different in the future? If in other parts of the world, there are usually political leaders. Okay. People who are very influential in their in their in the areas where they live, in the states where they come from. It's not, uh, it's not peculiar to Nigeria. Even okay. in the US, there are Baba people Sanis. who are so strong mm -hmm. that wherever they go, the people go with them. Mm -hmm. Because the, of the reputation that they have built over the years. So it's not, look at Winnie Mandela. Until her death, she was the most powerful politician yeah. in, in South, South Africa. Africa. Mm -hmm. She was even more powerful, mm -hmm. more influential. Mm -hmm. In terms of the support that she could so rally down, her Mr. husband. Is that we should stop demonizing these leaders, mm. like oh, they've taken everything and said this is how it's supposed to be. That's not exactly what I'm saying. Okay, please. If leaders don't behave like leaders, okay. If people want to demonize them, they are free to demonize them. Okay. And a lot of these people <clears throat> don't behave like leaders. Right. You must. Every leader must Selfless. recognize that he is responsible to the people, no matter. Mm -hmm. How influential you are, mm -hmm. and I said it when this um, the, when um, this somebody problem began. I said it has reached a point that even Ashwaju cannot legislate what will happen, mm -hmm. because once a preponderance of the people that Ashwaju leads say, no. say, look, we are not happy. This is what we want. Honestly, if he decides to go against them, he will be embarrassed. Right. And I said, I said it on air at that time. Almost and he, he, when he was interviewed, he said the same thing. Right. Mm -hmm. He right. said, look, I'm only a leader because the people allow me to be. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. So he will never do anything that will make the people to turn it's against Time is always too short when we yeah. have you around. I really want Emeryl to jump in here, but unfortunately, we have to run off. Thank you very much. I thank you too. Thank you for thank coming. You, on the show. Thank you, That's all we can take on the show. Uh, we're going to talk politics, I think, again this week sometime because, hey, we're going to get some declarations. We're waiting for Imo, we're waiting for Imo, we're waiting for Kaduna, we're waiting for River oh, State, yes. we're waiting for Kano. Rivers, Rivers uh, the they are going to have to tell us when they want to do So there's a lot the to talk about. Election. That's yeah. all we can take on the show today. Have a fabulous day. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye bye.